coming up next is our latest addition to the Good News Bus. So we're in the little town of Elbert, Colorado right now and it's a beautiful day today. It's The weather is it's warming up. This whole week is going to be just amazingly beautiful. We are on our way into town to get some curtain track for the kids' curtains to be hung in their bedroom. For quite some time we've been wanting to install curtains in the kids' bunks just to give them more privacy. Not only do we need curtain track, but we also need to find the curtains. And I'd like to get blackout curtains because they will um, enable the kids to have a little more privacy than just regular curtains. So let's see what we can find. We found an RV supply called Pikes Peak Travel Land. They had the exact curtain tracks we were looking for. Hi, Daddy. Hi. How's it going? Tab will go in and then you sew the fabric of the curtain onto that tab and so you have a nice sliding uh, track. Next, we're on the hunt to find curtains. We're here at Marshall's and I'm hoping to find some really awesome deals on curtains. And um, I'm looking for a particular curtain, maybe something that's more neutral color, light colors, and blackout curtains for sure. Marshall's had a really large selection of curtains. I got two of these. They come with two panels. Not bad price, $24.99. We had all the supplies we needed, so the next day we got to work. Today we're going to be doing something we've been planning on doing for a very long time, and that is installing curtains in the kids' bunks to give them some more privacy. If they want to, if they're going to be taking a nap or if reading a book or whatever, that they can pull a curtain across here. First thing we had to do was install our curtain track. Shane is operating the majorly heavy equipment over here. Um, it's a staple gun. Once the tracks were installed, Mommy cut the curtains to size. I have all my fabric cut out now. I had to buy a heavy duty needle for this application and um, extra heavy duty thread so that we can get through all the different layers and the tabs. Next I sewed a basting edge along the bottom of the curtain. This is Arwen's sewing machine that we had recently bought her for her birthday. And I must say it works pretty good. This is where I basted the fabric in preparation for sewing the hem. And if you take a look right here, you can see, so it makes a nice edge. Then my mom sewed the hem. I'm sewing a two inch hem. Then mommy sewed on the tabs. These little tabs here are what holds our curtain to the track. So I am sewing them onto the curtains right now. I just have to sew on 14 tabs and we are done. And voila. Next we snap the curtain into the track. Shane has the track all stapled up in place and I have the curtain all sewn and ready to go. Oh, there we go. Well, at least we know they're going to be secure in there. So the curtains were installed in the four bunks and the four bunks are Isaiah's, Arwen's, Ashton's, Kira's and Seth's bed. Seth and Kira share a bed. So they all four have their own curtains now and have a bit more privacy. Whew. I'm glad these are finally done. But it really didn't take us that long to do four custom bunk curtains for the kids. It's something that we've been wanting to do for quite a while just to give them that extra bit of privacy. Yeah. yeah. But we are glad that they're finally I'm done. done. Yay, they're done! So kids, tell us what you think of your new curtains. Can we restart that? I wasn't ready. <laughs> Pretty 
nice and I like it. Now I have a curtain, so now if I'm gonna play in my bed, there's not somebody always peeking in and making fun when I'm playing. It's very private. I like my curtains because it gives me more privacy and no one knows I am there. Now I have my own privacy, so now I can play finally in peace. Sound effects with peace. <laughs> I can read. Now I can get up early and do my school and not wake anybody up with my light. <laughs> Let's read too loud because I was looking at you. <laughs> this is a goodness for a sun out. Bye! Bye.